Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now today's piece of content is something that a lot of you have suggested for quite a while and I really don't know why I haven't pulled my finger out long enough to dip my toe into the Trayvax wallet world. So what we are here today to look at is the Trayvax Armoured Summit wallet. Now this is not necessarily one that has been recommended, um, but I was looking online and I saw two. I saw the original 2.0 and I also saw the Armoured Summit and I thought, you know, let's test them out. And I've got to say, I can't. I, I just don't understand why it's took me so long to do it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around so that we can take a closer look at the Trayvax Armored Summit. Whilst I'm doing that, if at any point you do enjoy this content, please feel free to hit the like and subscribe and share. That would be amazing. I don't know why I did that, but okay, well, let's just keep it in there. Um, yeah, it, it helps me to understand the kind of content that you like and it also really helps my channel. Um, but for now, let's turn the camera around and take a closer look. Okay, so here we have the Trayvax Armoured Summit. Now, this is kind of how it arrives. So this, here's, here's the wallet here, which we'll have a look through in a second. Uh, and here's the packaging. So it just comes in one of these really kind of robust Ziploc bags, and there's some information in there. But I quite like the fact that, you know, they, they've not gone, look, like, spend a lot of money on packaging. I, yeah, okay, so it helps to reduce the cost of the, of the product, which is great. Um, so this is the summit or the armored summit so you're kind of getting two wallets in one mainly because if i was to take this bit out here to strip it down mainly to its its minimal kind of components um, this back piece uh, and this piece of webbing here is the Trayvax Summit. The armoured version is this additional piece that slides across the front here, um, which also, well, one, it helps to you protect your cards, but also it adds to the, um, the RFID blocking qualities. So uh, to add to that, so so this this is this is made from steel. Both of these parts are made from steel, um, and when your cards are in here, because how close the steel is to it, um, it blocks any RFID signals from from coming away from your card. Um, now, as you usually do, you know, I, I, I tend generally to go through some uh, materials and some measurements. So, as I mentioned, these, these, both of these are steel. They're roughly about a millimeter thick, possibly maybe a little bit thicker than a millimeter. I don't know. A millimeter and a half but you know they're, they're, they're reasonably thick um, there's, there's there's certainly no bend or there's certainly no give to them you know these these are strong pieces of metal and then behind here there is a piece of uh, one inch webbing so this webbing how this works is on the on the back here uh, this is this is heat heated so that it, it, it comes to a plug so it stops it from pulling through it goes across around the side uh, and then through these gates here which which is how it allows uh, it uses friction to stop this from coming open or uh, or you know widening I guess but if you need to put more cards or less cards in here you can either pull it to make it tighter or you can pull it this way uh, to make it looser on the back you've got a nice little Trayvax logo there's also one here on the front there's a little bit of kind of texturing knurling I guess kind of uh, and then on the back here you can also see the patent that Trayvax hold for this um, Trayvax are incredibly proud uh, you know these these are made in the USA and they come with I think they call it their heirloom warranty you can pretty much guarantee that this will pass down to your children um, and it comes with a 65 year warranty so I mean as far as warranties go that's pretty good now at the moment oh actually sorry I'll just just to point out so if you can see so this is all completely flat apart from this part here at the back which is which has been pushed up to allow uh, the webbing to go through if I hold it an angle there you can you can see where that's pushed up but there are also two folded pieces here so they these have been folded in and up so when you start to put your cards in here hopefully you can see so I'm just pushing one two three four five six what these do is they hold your cards in this corner and on here as well so I apologize about that because as soon as I put these cards in um, it, it, it throws off the white balance but I'm gonna put these in I'm gonna put this over the front and then hopefully it shouldn't mess around with it as much 
Um, so as far as measurements are concerned, this comes in at 93 millimeters uh, by six millimeter. Uh, sorry, <laughs> by 60 millimeters. As far as the thickness is concerned, it, it, you know, it really does vary on depend on how many cards that you've got in here. If you've just got nothing in here, it's going to be say two, maybe three millimeters thick. If you've got a couple of cards in here, you can fit up to eight cards. At the moment, I carry six, and you know, this is this is how I've been carrying it, and it. it been great as far as the weight is concerned it's on the heavier side but I certainly wouldn't call this a heavy wallet um, it comes in at 73 grams um, when there are when there are no cards in there now as far as practically how big it is so there is a there is a standard credit or debit card when I put this over the top there you can see as far as minimalist wallet credentials are concerned again apologies for that white balance shift in there this really is a very small and minimalist wallet and I, I think for minimalist wallet credentials this is an excellent wallet if you're looking for a tough minimalist style. Just some extra points, so on the front here, as I mentioned, you know, this, this helps to block out some of the RFID signals, but also as well, if you wanted to, you can pull this out and then there is, um, there is a, a, a bottle opener that you can use there as well. Now, I, I know for this kind of wallet sort of reviews, everybody generally tends to ask for a shake test. I certainly don't think it's it's a fair uh, shake on, on, no pun intended, on, on whether a wallet can, can hold it or not. And plus, so this one at the moment, so I, I have this for six, but some of my cards are uh, embossed cards. But I'm just going to pull that a little bit, a wee bit tighter. Uh, and as far as the shake is concerned, I'd say I'm shaking it really well. I have my hand here at the side. Uh, and then here on this bit, so I'm not actually pinching the cards. And, and yeah, you know, they, they just don't come out. It, it's very, very, very good. Quite a lot of varies there. I know people really love the varies. Um, but yeah, it's very good at retaining your cards once they're in there. Now, one of the things that does happen, and I, I, I know uh, I've watched, I've, I've tried to keep watching reviews to a minimum. Um, also, I, I, do you know what? Shout out... Uh, to crispy EDC uh, check out his his channel crispy things um, yeah he, he did a review on this recently um, it's a it's a great review and he, he shares some of my thoughts um, and that is that this bit so after a while when you get in your cards you put in your cards in you put your cards out after a while you do find that sometimes this kind of works its way slightly loose which then makes your cards um, a little bit looser when they're in there I don't know if this is a hack that people do. I don't know if I've invented this. Let's, let's just say you've seen this here first. So this piece of webbing, if you push the webbing through here like that and then fold itself back on it, so your webbing has come in and then in through the back there like that, if you can see my finger. Now what I've found is just by doing that simple little fold and then putting my cards in, uh, what you tend to find is, if you put your, I mean, this is when you're first setting up, put all of your cards in, then put in the shield part, and then put your last card in, and I find that's actually the easiest way to get everything in. Once all of your cards are then in there, it's, it's a simple job of just... Uh, simple job of just fanning this out. Now the main reason that that came up then was because I've, I've un unintentionally loosened it when I did that. But what I've found is if you do that simple little fold here at the back, um, it stops any slippage. Um, I've, I, since I did that, um, I've not found that any uh, that the webbing has slipped out whatsoever. Just as an extra note, so here on this back section, um, you can put cards, you can put money in here. So here I have a UK orange note. Uh, I can push that in and do you know what? It fits, look, so there's a, the, the, this cutout section here at the back, the orange notes fit in there perfectly. So if you're just carrying orange notes and you wanna quarter fold it, then they will just fit. A, a, a blue note will obviously it'll fit in a little bit less here in the UK. Um, our notes go up in size. So a, a blue note is smaller than a orange note and an orange note is smaller than a purple note. Um, and there you go. It's a very, very simple and very effective wallet. And 
I'm almost slightly embarrassed that it's took me so long to get into Trevax wallets. Um, I'm generally really impressed with this. And since I've been using this, um, yeah, it's kind of kicked back a few other wallets, um, mainly because this one in particular, the, the, the Armored Summit, I, as I mentioned before, as far as um, minimalist credentials is concerned, this is you know as, as, as small as wallets can possibly get. Um, it has that value, the fact that if you take cards out, it will get smaller. Um, and it's, I mean, yeah, it's it's built like a brick sh um, shit house. It, it it really is that tough. Now, just to compare it to some other wallets, so here is the Atenuo uh, version two wallet. You can see uh, on the front there, they are roughly the same size and from the side, um, kind of the same. The difference being that with the uh, with the Trevax, if you take cards out of this, it will get thinner, whereas the Atenuo, um, this is just designed for eight cards. Uh, that's a great wallet. Then you've also got the, uh, the, the Code 118 Stealth Wallet. Now when I put them on top of each other, as far as the profile is concerned, it's kind of the same, although the Stealth Wallet is slightly longer, mainly because it's it's got that little clicker mechanism in there. From the side, I'd say that they are roughly the same width, um, with, with nothing in, um, or at least this one's got nothing in, but uh, again, if you take cards out of this one, then it will get thinner, whereas uh, with the Stealth Wallet, it, it's always going to be um, this this size. The last one, as a little size comparison, so I did pick up both of these two wallets. Let's take these cards out because it really is messing with the, uh, with the white balance there, isn't it? Um, so uh, you can see, so this is the this is the Armored Summit and this is the Trevax original version two. Um, so if I put that one on top, you can see that the original is just slightly bigger. Well, I say slightly, it's probably about four or five millimeters bigger each side. The main reason for that is that it uses these paracord bits to, 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 to cinch it tight. Um, but again, when you have them side by side, they are roughly the same width. Now, I 100% get why people love these wallets and I kind of am disappointed in myself I'm just, just disappointed in you why it took so long to pick one of these up I think the Armoured Summit for me this might have just pipped itself to my favouritest wallet I think this is a damn good wallet for a few reasons it's um, credentials as far as a minimalist wallet is concerned there's some other things in there as far as it you know expanding constructing and the fact that this is as tough as it comes with a 65 year guarantee warranty you know all of that sort of stuff but when it's in your pocket it just disappears it has a bit of weight to it it does have a bit of weight to it so you know it's in there as i say you know, I'm, I'm a rear pocket carry person and even though this is a, a this is a pretty much a cube of metal on the front and the back it's it's not it's just been in my pocket i've just been walking around and it, it it's just been there i know it's been there I've, you, you, we've, we've we've got that tap phone keys wallet yeah they're all there um yeah just disappointed that it, just disappointed that it's took me so long um to pick up one of these so highly recommended if you've not got it already i i yeah love this wallet highly recommended I don't do, I, I should do, I really should do a Moorlander seal of approval. But if I had a Moorlander seal of approval, it would get that kind of stamp seal of approval. Trevax Armored Summit wallet. This is brilliant. This is this is a great wallet. So there you go. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite. Yeah. Anyway, so cool. Um, I hope you'd enjoy this content. I will leave some of Trevax's details in the link below. Um, I'll try and see if I can find some links, see if I can find the cheapest place to get these for you guys. Um, so some of those may be affiliate links. I, I'm not too sure. I, I, I do need, certainly do need to check if I can find some of those. Uh, but the links will be below. Also, some of my social media links. Generally, if you follow me on social media, you'll get to see the sort of things that I'm testing out that will be coming to the channel in the future. That would be awesome. I hope you're all good. And for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC.